on the flip side, uh, Jordan Alvarez, huge weekend over the uh, against Kansas City and agreed to that big contract extension, which the team made official yesterday. That, that's very well deserved. And I don't know if you get the same feeling. When I look at Jordan Alvarez, I'm like, man, this guy, what a veteran. And I'm like, wait a second. Right, right. He's, he's only like 24. 24 years old. <laughs> yeah. But he hits like he's been in the he league does. for 15 years, right? Reminds me of young Big Poppy a little bit. It's that, yes, it's yeah. that combination of finesse and power. And he had a this game the other day. Oh. Going placa that twice. Look, look where it goes. Look where that ball. Look where that ball hit. Oh All right, this one. Oh. What, oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. Go back. Yeah, yeah. Go okay. back. That's go back. That's go worthy. Back. That's worthy. No one hits him out here, folks. You, you need to no understand. Okay. Okay. Look, Off the look, facade. Look. This is up there. Now, <laughs> the reason why we laugh is because Casey and I've been to this stadium. <laughs> We've stood in home plate, and you're like, oh. no one hits the ball up there. Oh, no one hits it up there either. <laughs> exactly. But this is how nice and easy wow. this swing e is. And it almost looks, you know, he swings with two hands, Case, right? Oh, yeah. And it looks like maybe the bat speed is not there. But let's talk about torque, all right? Mm. Let's talk about torque. You know, I, I love, you know, classic defenders. They have a lot of torque. And the load that they're able to carry initially, that first move, you know, when you get that combustion, here comes that torque. And even though the barrel of the bat may not be moving at high speeds, or at least it doesn't seem like it, the power that he exerts on the baseball, I want you to pause it at contact. So we're gonna click right here, go a couple clicks, couple clicks, boom, contact. From there, from that stretch that you talk about to here, that torque that he creates, you know, reminds me of a classic defender. Okay, maybe not a Ferrari, yeah. but, you know, the defender can pull some heavy loads, and that's all that matters. At the end of the day, he gets that barrel to the baseball. There's no ballpark on earth that can hold them, but he does not sacrifice finesse. Yeah. We talked about Plaga. Oh. That. that ball was absolutely crushed. Absolutely. Where did that ball land? Yeah. All right, look. We talk about this false dichotomy between finesse and power. It's false. You can be a finesse hitter and still let that ball just jump off your bat for home runs. Hitter first, power later. But this guy's combined them in both. Now, look at this. This is the stat. This is called the placata rate, officially, by the way. All right? This is per swing. You're going to love this case. Because this is hard hit percentage per attempt. Mm. Meaning that if you swing and miss, it counts. If you foul a pitch off, it counts. Right. So every single time you swing, we're counting how many times you hit the ball hard. He is at the top of the list. Well, this is our hit ball percentage, but per swing, it's what matters. Right. All right? If you look at that hard hit ball rate, sometimes it's deceiving because I can go 0 for 9, swing 27 times and whiff, and then if I hit that one on the 10th at bat, the first one, and I hit it hard, my hard hit ball rate, is 100%. Right. That's deceiving. What happened to the yeah. 27 whiffs that you just had? No, this tells the truth. This guy, every single time he attempts to swing, he's the best at it. Wow. wow. There it is. And, and I, this is why he's one of the best in baseball. Yeah. You make a great, Carlos, you make a great point. We talked about this the other day. Um, you know, hitters, even power hitters, guys that are looking to hit the ball at the ballpark, listen, home runs are mistakes. Guys are up there trying to hit the ball hard, right? Usually back up the middle or in the gaps. If you catch one a little out front or if you catch one just perfect on a, ba a bad, bad pitch, 30, 30 to 40 mistakes a year, one of the best home run hitters in the game, right? <laughs> yes, so absolutely. you got 600 at bats. You make a mistake 30 to 40 times, one of the best home hitters in the game. That's how you have to approach it to be the guy that hits for average and hits for power. And, and look, uh, Ruffalo, let me interrupt you because this is a great point that uh, Case is making. I look back at my career. I was a guy that struck out a lot, mm -hmm. hit for power, and walked. The three th true outcomes we talked about earlier. Yeah. Now, if I had to do it over again, what I would have liked to have is more of a Casey, you know, Sean Casey approach, more of a contact approach, but understanding that I have a lot of torque and that my home runs are still going to be yeah. there. So that, you know, combination of finesse and power, you achieved it. Yeah. You were hitting over, you know, plus you know, above 20 home runs and hitting for high average. That's what I would teach young players. Yeah, he's got to hit her first.